today I'm going to be giving you guys my one month surfboard review. I'm totally making up that number of how long I've had it. There's going to be quite a few friends in this video surfing too. Yeah, hope you guys like it.
So this is my 9.3 Zelzi longboard. It is my custom board for myself. So I did some extra customizations like flamethrowers and grenade launchers. The nose is pretty narrow. I think it's 17 inches wide, something like that. On the bottom, there is a not too deep, but a just smooth blended concave. I copied it off of one of Jim's boards that he shaped. And then it runs on the bottom into just a fairly flat, slightly just domed not belly or anything like that but just a little bit of roll to a pretty nice soft rail for me these rails are super thick but most people still freak out and think they're the thinnest rails they've ever seen which is kind of funny to me on the deck in the nose we also have a hard edge running around the top because it looks cool and hopefully it breaks some of the water up when your nose riding makes it a little bit easier to not pearl. As you get to the bottom half of the surfboard, the deck is totally flat, the bottom's still pretty flat, not a lot of roll. But then once we get to here, I put a concave on the deck in order to add a little bit more lift without having a crazy flip on the bottom of the board, which I personally do not like because it makes it when you turn it just wheelies and you can't like carve, so I don't like that. I'd rather have hold coming from the deck than coming from the bottom because it less affects you when you're turning. And then I have my Futures Fin model glassed on there. They sent me one, cut the bottom off, stuck it on there because it was easier than going and borrowing Jim's router. That was all the objective parts of the surfboards, the basic facts of it. So here's my subjective take on it. Uh, I personally love it. It's super fun. I think that the deck concave does a lot and it adds a lot of lift and hold when you're nose riding. Um, I think that the nose concave that I totally copied off of one of Jim's boards works really well. Um, it's still fast. It'll slow you down when you're going slow, but if you're on a bigger wave, it just holds you up a little bit. It's not like one of the boards where you walk to the front and it's just like like not moving which is absolutely terrible in my opinion i like the fin i like everything about it yeah it's been the easiest surfboard that i've ever made myself to surf usually i make them extremely challenging for myself so this has been nice and convenient and luckily swami's has been good which is my favorite place to ride a longboard so yeah i just love this board i would recommend it to somebody who likes to go fast on a longboard it's definitely a different feeling. It's not like anything you've probably ever surfed before as far as longboards go. I mean, even very different from like a Thomas or like, you know, something more performance-based, still very different. Great for nose riding if you're good at nose riding. Probably not great for nose riding if you're used to like just a big fat nose rider. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys what think. What boards are not big fat nose riders? I don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> so if you guys want one of these boards, uh, I'm gonna offer 15% off the base price, not the color work or anything like that, but 15% off the base price and there'll be a link down below that you guys can use. Send me an email and we'll get it situated. Oh wait, I'm recording. Hold on.